share my screen. Everybody see that okay? Yep. All right. Let me uh, start with Alan here, and we'll just go down the list. Okay. Oh, I'll get a couple of things oh. here. Let me oh. move this over. Where my cursor? Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, another shot of my granddaughter. She was over uh, last week, and she's just about over every other day. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. and she she does all her own poses. So this is her. This is hmm. so I don't ask hmm. her to do anything. I just sure. I just it's press good. the button. Is this, her, <laughs> is this her impetuous pose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, whatever it was, it was really for that uh, other site that we uh, sent stuff in. That was uh, uh, low key, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, event yeah. that they were asking for. So yeah, I thought it fit it in pretty nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. so light. Mm -hmm. It's a just a natural light. She's just mm -hmm. sitting in a chair in front of our window, front window. So okay, so the window's behind. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you're getting any reflective light? Is there like a side, in a side window? So it's in a kind of alcove. Mm. Oh, she's in alcove yeah. with yeah. Side windows. Okay. Is, yeah. is it like a three sided? Yes. Yeah, yeah I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. Did you use a bounce card or just the, nope. the room? She, like just that there, and I just shot a few photos off, and that's what we got. You, oh, you okay. didn't blacken the background? I, I did. I darkened the you background did. a bit, yeah. Yeah. But, but the, the very rich, very good. Nice. But mm -hmm. the subtle detail you're getting is just from the ambient. Just ambient, yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, yeah. Alan, no offense. Yeah. I just am tempted to say they're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If everyone knows that joke from mm -hmm. the, yeah. the ghost. Or yeah, they're we, back. <laughs> they're back. I guess it put little red spots in her eyes, but maybe, huh. maybe, maybe she's already got them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah. So there you go. That's, That's very nice. nice. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I thought it was pretty, pretty different. Wonderful. Oh, cool. All right. Let's go to the next one here. Ooh. So this is uh, this is actually three three shots stitched together, mm -hmm. and it, and it's, uh, about maybe fifteen minutes away from where we live, and it's looking southwest towards the mountains. Are the mountains are on the right hand side? You can just see them in the horizon. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty cloudy, windy day. So, yeah, so gorgeous I, I, panel. I just love the the the, the space is uh, this is all private land. <laughs> it's just wow. unbelievable. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's just it's multiple owners or just one one owner? Well, it it's it's under the name of Anne and Sandy Cross. Yeah. And they 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 have passed away, but they have it as a conservation area. And oh. so yeah. Wow. It's, it's mm. untouchable, let's put it that way. So That's mm -hmm. nice. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Well, maybe Sandy's a distant relative. I can uh, <laughs> <laughs> his successors or something. That could be. Uh, if it's just uh, even as as this is a panel, right? But it still doesn't give you the the size of the place. It's just yeah, I can imagine overwhelming. Yeah, nice, very nice. Yeah, I like the clouds worked away into the center toward the horizon. Yeah, and it's not on fire. Yeah, oh. exactly. Yeah. yeah, there's no fires down here. Thank but, God. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. All right. Yeah. There are still fires going because we can still sometimes get get smoke uh, depending. Wow. On the yeah. All right. Good. <laughs> so I was in the park mm. yesterday, and this is a. This is a shot from uh, a deer. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I just, you know, you get, it was a nice shot of the deer, but I thought the eye looked really cool. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. The reflection. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can really see the reflection in the eye there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's anything down in here. Let's take a peek here. That maybe we could just open up a little bit. Uh, just for grins. I'm going to grab a local brush and just kind of brush this area. I'm uh, on yellow because I was doing something with red and blue that didn't work. So it's the only reason that's showing. But let's see here. Let me try shadow detail first. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Guess you could open it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Boy, it's amazing. It's amazing what's there that you don't see. Huh? Yeah. It yeah. kind of distracts a little bit. Yeah, I would tone it down a bit just so there's a hint of what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. And keep the uh, the shape. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be cool if you could just put that put your pano right in his eye there. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. could probably do that. Yeah. You know, I have I have done that. I've put uh, Indians inside horses' eyes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They look pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I might try something. I'll have to yeah. share that. Mm. I have never shared that with you guys. Look into yeah, I'd, my like, to, I'd like to see that. With the caption, look into my eye. Yeah. <laughs> look into my eye. Yeah, that's a little more subtle. I, I just took my floor rate down and mm -hmm. tickled it in there. Yeah. So that might work. Or can we see eye to eye? Oh, <laughs> good one. <laughs> that was great. Right. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, this, wow. This one, uh, I was kind of playing. This is uh, like a dandelion type. Uh, mm. And I was trying to play around with uh, uh, multiple uh depths of focus mm -hmm. and it just it wasn't really working out too well for me and i put a little little uh blob of uh water there water droplet really? this is kind of what came out and i really liked it the way it was so i just said nice this is the way it is very nice. very interesting yeah. yeah that worked out great now what kind of lens did you use it's um, a 105 micro lens. Okay. I wonder if it was a macro. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alan, how's the new camera working out? Oh, it's working great. Good. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I just actually got my, uh, I had put the, the Z6 in for for a repair and, and a service. And I just got that back the other day there. And it feels like a toy compared to, to, to my new one. So uh -huh. remarkable difference. Yeah, beautiful picture. Thank, Thank you. you. Traveling, if it's lighter, <laughs> that always helps. It's lighter, definitely lighter, but it doesn't have the capabilities of the new one. Yeah, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. Finding that a little bit between the seven I just got and the R five, but it's still got quite a bit there. Yeah, but uh, yeah, much much better than the uh, the old M six I was carrying. But, All right. Yeah, that's I love your selective focus and. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Thanks. Nice. Everything's good. Okay, let's see this last portrait here. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is a portrait I took uh, probably a couple of years ago now. And to be honest with you, I, I personally think it's probably one of the best portraits I've ever taken. Mm -hmm. One of the when it was when I put it up in this other site, one of the critiques was that her mouth wasn't really quite symmetrical. Mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. smile towards her shoulder there, yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little bit squished. So I went into this beta program, the the Photoshop beta, right, and I just highlighted around our our mouth there, and I said, "Fix the smile." <laughs> <laughs> and really? fix the smile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You can also That's use scary. Uh, liquify <laughs> and warp uh, to do those sort of things. Yeah, we we started doing that and retouching. Geez, back in the early nineties. But uh, oh, yeah, when, when, yeah. When this when this remark came through, I tried to 
you know, copy one side and switch over. Mm -hmm. but never ever worked. Bad lighting's not. Just couldn't get it to work with this. Because your lights uh, side. You know, this is, you know. Anyway, it's probably so. It's it's better than what it was, but it's still an amazing mm -hmm. program mm -hmm. to be able to do that. Yeah, for sure. What do you think about uh, maybe cropping the top out a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe even this side a little. Yeah. Let's try that. Yeah. That brings you in a little. In fact, I don't, Beautiful. Know, if we, I don't even know if we need this whole you know, arm and shoulder here. Kind yeah. of going to come in a little on that. Come to the edge over here. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful portrait. You can wow. go a little yeah. more if you wanted. Yeah, something. Oh, maybe. This, I remember taking this photograph. This is an, uh, use an 85 millimeter Nikon lens and. Mm. Yeah, it's a portrait lens. Mm. Nice. Yeah. It was outside, mm. it had outside lighting, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alan, I yeah, like but, the mm. shoulder angle supporting the tilted head, you know, very nice composition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So was that artificial light or a card or what, what's that? It was, a, it was a huge umbrella thing. Oh, okay. mm. oh. oh that's, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, that's how you got the even light on the face, I guess. It's, sure. it's huge. It was massive. It was probably about three or four mm. feet in diameter. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, good. Yep. Oh, you had an umbrella bouncing the light back. Yeah. Right. Right. It's a studio. It wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't an umbrella. It was one of these uh, light boxes kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Soft box. box. Yeah. Gotcha. Diffuser, softener. An yeah. Ultra box or something. Yeah. In fact, let's let's see here. Yeah. Wow. It was hexagonal or round. I think it was round. Yeah. It has yeah. to be round. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. The clarity is stunning. Yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah. That's beautiful like that. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, she's got that wonderful dark edge on, on the edge of her, on her eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to try a tight crop. A tighter crop. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. yeah. Look, Very look, nice. Look at, look at her mouth there, how that fixed her mouth up. It's just, yeah. can't even <laughs> see it. Yeah. Yeah. I see one little spot on the left there that you might want to just. Okay. Yeah. Knock that out, and maybe a couple of these blemishes. And I think mm. you get in real tight. Okay. Mm. All right. Very good That's things. It. And let's see. Um, Susan texted. Well, hit the chat box and says she's here. Let's see if I see her. Yeah, I can't see anybody. I mean, I can see people, but can you hear me? I yeah. hear. Mm -hmm. I don't see you at all. Uh, if you, yeah, I can't figure it out. Yeah, yeah, you have to camera, get your camera's not on, I don't think. Yeah. You have to go down on your lower left on the on the zoom menu and there's like a picture of a video camera there. And if there's a line through the start video. Yeah. Then what do I do? Uh did you click it? Yeah, I clicked it and it shows it's checked on a camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um is the red line still through it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You need to, uh, like, there's like a little triangle next to it. You can click on that and it'll tell you which camera to pick. Uh, I don't know if you're on a laptop or a computer, but it'll probably give you the name. Yeah. I'm on a laptop. And there you go. You got it. Okay, there you go. Okay. There Whatever you I did at work. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We'll get back to it then. Good. Welcome. All right. Thank you. So let's go to Dave. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Here's a picture of a kitsch sculpture that I found uh, rummaging around in the Tombstone Antique Mall. Mm. And I took several shots of it. And this is the one that rang the bell. <laughs> it, it had this, right? Had this heavenly light softly falling on the face and picked up a little pink can you guys see some pink in the cheeks mm -hmm. 
Oh, man. oh yeah. Right. And uh, got the cherry right in the exact place. And so I really like this picture. And I used a, a blue uh, oh, okay. vignette. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. This would make such a great uh, advertisement picture for to sell what? something in the 50s. Uh huh. Um, you know, an ad photo um, for, I don't know. Produce <laughs> to sell cherries or to sell, <laughs> to sell well be careful um i don't to sell something anything yeah this looks like a so, perfect ad like something you'd see during uh world war ii uh-huh it has that old-timey feeling yeah there. yeah well, dave i think you're Filling the slot that Steve Carr used to fill for us. <laughs> uh, I don't know his work. Should I look it up? Uh, and, yeah, well, you could go to some of the old, uh, yeah, the old uh, recordings. But yeah, they were they were usually um, unique and and uh, uh, yeah, a little different genre. Yeah, I'll look it up. Yeah, folks, here is a lone cowboy. And he is exhausted after the long day's ride of the rodeo roundup. And I use the blue vignette here again. It gives you this mood. You can see he's tired. His hat is flopped back and his hands can barely hold on to the reins. And his parched lips are just gasping for an ice cold beer, Sandy. <laughs> and my other comment is you can almost hear Gene Autry strumming the guitar oh, around the wow. prairie campfire. Oh, goodness. This is a bronze statue at Tucson Art Museum oh. in their courtyard. Hmm. Yeah. What was the pattern behind it uh, yes and I, I was zooming okay. zooming mm -hmm. through a window i think oh okay so that's part of the building in the background mm. yeah and i got this silhouette mm. huh. so once you interesting start getting cool. post processing you can replace that with whatever your heart's desire is like yeah a, an old evening campfire scene <laughs> Not as <we> <laughs> right there you go. Did you tilt the rider, or is that how the sculpture was done? Um, he is tilted, but, I, you know, it's interesting you say that because some of my other pictures are running uphill and downhill. Full disclosure on that, I'm using a monopod, mm -hmm. and, which I call a pogo stick, because, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And... <laughs> My hands yeah. shake so much, it's lucky I can take a picture at all. So mm. I've gotten to use the monopod. And yes, mm. my pictures do tilt yeah. uh, running uphill, downhill. Yeah. I don't think it can, the horse, I mean, if that, if the horse was tilted that much, it'd be a bucking bronco. Yeah. Well, or going downhill. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the, the verticals on the building seem to be pretty straight. Yeah, they're close to. Yeah, they're they're maybe here. The yeah. other interesting yeah. thing on the pogo stick is they the guard came up to me and said, You can't use that in this museum because mm -hmm. they're scared someone will it's I would hit somebody swinging oh. the stick oh. or, or, or hit I had to, um, yeah. I had to collapse that up and finish off. Yeah, well I'd have murdered uh, well it's been a while, but uh, I know a lot of the museums won't let you wear a backpack or you have to wear it on the front because people turn around and wear yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. People, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I never thought yeah. about that, but yeah. yeah. Sandy, when we were in the Time Machine Museum, my wife was guarding the stick so I wouldn't hit anybody, swinging <laughs> it around on the floor. Yeah. You know what? <sighs> um, you know, you got to be careful with your equipment right you're right mm -hmm. it gets crowded in these places okay. this was the the free first thursday which is okay. a wonderful opportunity to go right. to the museum tucson you bet all right well that one's got oh, some nice, nice. Going on. folks from time yeah. to time i'll come across a beautiful interior scene 
and I'll spot it, uh, the afternoon light streaming in through the windows, casting the gleam and the, the, the shine on the floor. And this one, I've had this for a while, and I just started playing with the new toy, the Be Funky digital alteration oh, program. Okay. And yeah. this picture, and there's one other coming after this, kind of came to fruition using the digital enhancement. Mm, yeah. taking it one step closer to painting yeah, yeah. so i love that yeah. and i uh, on these two pictures that you'll see the next one in a second i like the geometry the architectural geometry and the line work mm. and this has a vignette as well yeah. sepia vignette mm -hmm. yeah that, that, it's that afternoon light mm -hmm. yeah does it all you know yeah for sure Here's another uh, yeah. interior. Uh, the light streaming in in the afternoon puts the sheen on the table and the floor and uh, yeah. enhances the line work. I did a little cropping, Sandy, mm -hmm. you know, where I thought. That's a nice composition, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Alan. Works nicely. Uh, yeah. And I'm, I'm using this uh, graphic novel enhancement which i think it's really cool i just discovered that last session the uh you know the digital alteration program mm -hmm. so pretty happy with this one too it's really fun to use mm -hmm. that program yeah certainly dave, dave what program is it again it's called be funky my wife had it up in the cloud she was using it for some of her work and um I just started using it the last session on on my century plant picture. You know what? And this is the graphic novel enhancement. Yeah. Mm. Dave, maybe she can grab that uh link for you and uh and you can just put it in the chat and then everybody will ha have it. Grab the what, Sandy? The, the link to the uh program. Oh, okay. I'll ask her if she can. Yeah. I think she pays a little bit for it. Okay. You know, but not too much. Yeah, it's up there's in the cloud. Yeah, there's some free ones too. If people want to just do a mm -hmm. editing online search. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Otherwise, if you don't get it this session, just email it to me and I'll send it. Okay, out. we'll do, mm -hmm. Sandy. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. And Dave, what did you do for the color on that picture? That that was natural light. It was just some, a. Some places it looks yellow. Some it looks sepia. It's well, the last one was sepia. The last one was photographed in sepia vignette. That's why it's brown. Okay. Tobacco colors. Okay. And yeah, this one was natural color. Wow. It's very interesting. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I think it's neat really? you know, with that program. Yeah. yeah. Maureen, he's and, got a bridge camera that gives him some presets mm -hmm. that uh, he uses quite a bit because he doesn't do any uh, post editing. So. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't catch the beginning use of what he does what? He, he uses a, a mm -hmm. presets in his bridge camera. Oh, that, what's a know, bridge camera? Uh, you know, those it's little a fixed lens. lens. Yeah, fixed oh, lens. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. I mean, it's really cool. I, I, I could just look at that forever. Oh, thanks. <laughs> nice compliment. Oh, there's just so much to look at. It's just really yeah. interesting. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, you guys, I really admire the painter Mondrian, you know, mm -hmm. with his right. geometry and his line work. And uh -huh. this kind of reminds me a little bit of the line work in a Mondrian yeah. painting. Yeah, you've got the window uh, lines and the chair lines. And the attraction oh, nice. was the yeah. the vases in the center of the painting, or uh, painting, the yeah. photograph. Mm -hmm. And there was a pin cap sitting on the table as well it's oh, really yeah. interesting oh. and i did some zoom ins and stuff but this was yeah i did a little cropping sandy on this yeah because yeah, your vase lighting is in your... up nicely too with the mullions and uh, and i really love this little edge lighting you're getting on these yeah, yeah and those... the sheen on the floor yeah. right mm -hmm. yeah. those shapes are a nice contrast with all the straight lines yeah. Yes. Those nice curved shapes. Really pretty. I'm glad you like it. Good yeah. job. Thank you. Yes. Appreciate it. 
folks uh, took a trip down to two back mm -hmm. and it was wagon day. They have lots of ox carts and mm -hmm. Spanish wagons strewn all about. And some are on the golf course, the beautiful 10 cup golf course. Mm -hmm. And this one was shot in the orange tone that Sandy was mentioning. My camera has these tonalities. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And it has the vignette. And I think this really worked out great because it uh, supports the wagon wheels. Mm -hmm. I call this one Spanish cart. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very dramatic. You know, I don't know if it's still there. Somebody's interested in something like this. But there was one um, similar on the uh, ranch, a motto territory ranch, uh, like okay. out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if it's still there. It's been a while. A motto territory. Yeah, that's hmm. I haven't seen a wagon there. They may have wheeled it off. <laughs> yeah, when, when the new owners moved in, they used to have some awesome stuff to photograph. And then it, when it got sold, they removed virtually all of it, except for the Santa yeah. Cruz reading mm -hmm. thing. So, Laura, you're talking about that little mall, right? With the with the bed and breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. I guess Amato it's territory. Uh, yeah. It's going south. It's changed, it, yeah, it's, east it's south. changed many, over the years. Uh, I've been here a while. And so those were some of the first places. There's a little... There's a little pond in the back, uh -huh. and I've gotten those frogs and things back. You can walk right along the back, and there's a lot of nice views and, and little things to photograph. So. It's a nice place to go. Sandy, that's where I got that frog picture, that strange yeah. frog picture. Yeah. And Lori, this picture here the with the sepia tone was shot at Amato Territory, looking through the window of that bed and breakfast. Mm. Cool. I, I like going down there, walking around. There's a lot of interesting things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they used to have some events there, uh, even some art events. And uh, there was even in one of those little uh, sheds that are off to the right of the main uh, building. They they had a a guy in there with a big Epson printer doing stuff. And uh, wow. that was years ago. I, I'm sure they're it's all gone now. But yeah, it was mm -hmm. really nice. Nice place. It was a go. nice little art studio back by the pond too, which mm -hmm. is maybe, that, maybe that's the one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let me uh, close those up. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. All right. Let's go to Jim Bowman. Oh, wow. How sweet. So this is in Michigan on the waterfront. And um, they have uh, little, small, um, they're like otters, but they're uh, they're really. Um, Looks like a, a, a little weasel, maybe. It's a weasel. Mm -hmm. oh. could be a minx. They're a minx. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um so I just I kind of shaped it by having a uh they call it a smudge background and then I just punched him through. Mm. So um just kind of gave it an extra kind of uh ethereal look. Mm -hmm. Hey Jim, what program do you, I'm sorry for asking questions like this, but it helps learn. What are you using Photoshop, beta, or no, this is called Topaz. Oh, Topaz. Mm -hmm. okay. Topaz Studio, yeah. You you guys just really want me to buy Topaz. <laughs> <laughs> that one you can't buy anymore, but I think if you buy something else, you can still download it. Um and yeah. Jim, yeah. On this one, you used a Wendell-esque frame. Wendell, yeah. you you frame yours. Yeah. Yeah, well, so once in a while, just just for yeah, I do it once in a while. It's nice. Yeah, yeah in Topaz, they have a, a framing uh, filter, if you will. Yeah. yeah, pick the color. It's called digital yeah. frame. Digital yeah. frame. What a man! Does this critter bite? Looks like it might bite. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They're you yeah. don't want to mess with these little things. No. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So, 
Mm. Mm. Neat. So I felt nice. like there was a uh, a lot of similarities in this picture to the like the sky and the foreground were just sort of matched. Mm -hmm. really so I nice. liked it. Beautiful. Really out in the countryside of Michigan as well. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. I want to eat this piece of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> is this uh, is this near you, Jim? Is it pretty close? Yeah, yeah maybe it's uh, thirty miles north of here. It's up by. Um, I don't. If uh, Kim were here, she would know. It's north of of Muskegon. But yeah, okay. anyway. I just love these solitary trees. They're, they're just uh, have a special look about them, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I like the asymmetry. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, the sunburst sort of of the clouds coming out of the tree. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is far fetched, but it looks like the mother tree and the babies are running away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or following. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Gorgeous. Very yeah. nice. Okay. Ooh. Mm. So this is. Uh, a shot that I just put a, a filter on, very light, um, didn't use a heavy filter on it, just uh, kind of gave it that far away, uh, never, never land look, uh, dreamlike quality. I saw this mm -hmm. kind of, this was kind of like when I took the picture, I saw this road, but you know, just kind of surrounded by trees and everything. So just, Kind of felt good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very nice. Yeah, that works out well. Yeah. It's got that kind of almost mm -hmm. hazy, foggy look to it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like you're waiting for somebody to come down the road toward the camera. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like a book cover or something. Yeah. Something. Down the merry garden path. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Mystery. Very nice. Mystery. Good word. Uh, I miss that. Miss, miss my boat. Uh, yeah, this is kind of out my front door. Wow. Believe it or not. Uh, this is a channel that goes out to the big lake, to Lake Michigan. Mm -hmm. And then in the background of that is. Um, the Pierre Marquette River. So in other words, it's kind of, it flows in and out. Uh, this is a river way, but um, at this time of year, there's a lot of boats, but there's also a lot of fishermen because it's salmon season. So there's a lot of people mm. out. Mm. Oh. Mm. Now is your salmon season um a real salmon season this year because in california they close it down yeah no it's a real season i mean they they can fish uh, yeah they're they can fish uh, california they can't this year there's not enough salmon they mm -hmm. closed them down yeah they have an like they've had a record year this year wow mm -hmm. um and uh but it's it's coho or now and then next month it'll be sa a salmon the king salmon oh wow mm. neat yeah we used to get coho down in chicago once in a while yeah they're very good to eat yeah i, I like the strong diagonal of the mm. sail mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's really really nice yeah Jim, you have these beautiful afternoon light pictures. Uh huh. All the way back from the Greek stuff, you know. You're coming in with these golden hour pictures. It's right. I, I'm kind of partial to that. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see. Yeah. yeah. The more and you... this time of year, it's really the, it has a lot of this kind of stuff that, that is out there, you know. 
just that golden hour mm -hmm. visible. Yeah. Uh, lots of nice pictures. Yeah. Very nice. Do you enhance your skies or? Uh, or is that it? More than usual. I mean, then uh -huh. I kind of fudge the, I mean, push the, the uh, contrast up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. as far as it's, it's stuff that's there. Mm -hmm. The blue and peach is just beautiful. <laughs> yep. Nice. Oh, wow. So this is a, this was a storm coming in that uh, was really kind of spectacular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And wow. back, uh, this is the marina entranceway. And then just this massive front that's coming in and behind it is kind of like normal light. And, and then it just gets dark. And, and uh, so it's kind of a picture of a storm. Yeah. I liked. Mm -hmm. But we're here, we'd be calling that a Chinook, Chinook cloud. A Chinook. Oh. Okay. Isn't that a salmon? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A Chinook salmon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would see if you got any more highlight detail on your raw file, just to pull a little more into here. Uh huh. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Other than that, I do that. Yeah, but this is just wonderful, beautiful. Yeah. Also, Jim, I I see that flag standing. Yeah. That our that our flag was still there. Yeah, the storm, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. You definitely see the direction it's going too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's in a perfect spot. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, well, that was kind of part of the picture is to kind yeah. of place that mm -hmm. right on the edge, you know, just to kind of bring attention to it. Sure. Strange, Ellen. These are called Chinook clouds. I kind of talked over you. Sorry. Yeah, Chinook clouds. Yeah, Chinook clouds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's a welcome sight. You usually get them in the winter, and yeah. and it, so when you get Chinook clouds like that, the temperature climbs up pretty high. So okay, yeah, it starts melting. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Are they full of rain or electricity or what? Or just uh, it's just a cloud formation. Yeah. Yeah, but then in this case there was a lot of thunder, lightning. Although this was just at the first kind of like um i guess the first line of of the storm coming in mm. you know so it was definitely the front this, edge, this yeah. line like this yeah it would it was covered and covering the clouds and the the plain sky in the background yeah mm -hmm. oh. nice almost doesn't look real <laughs> no it, it really did and it didn't feel real i felt mm -hmm. like wow yeah. what is going on here you know <laughs> yeah. Jim, yeah. what's what's the reflection in the water? It's, it's well, light from yeah, where's see, that coming from? Well, that comes on automatically as it gets dark. It, you know, even though this was like probably around four o'clock in the afternoon, but it got dark really fast, and so it, the the lights just came on because of Ooh. that. Yeah. Oh, so Ooh. that's a shore light there, mm. not yeah. the sun yeah. poking through. No. Yeah, it's just super light. It's just an mm. artificial light mm. uh, yeah. lighting up the entrance to the the marina. Uh huh. I don't know if you did this, Jim, but maybe when you have a, a, something like this and it's bisecting, you might want to try, you know, shooting something like this and then getting lower and higher to move this into, you know, either the dark area or, or down a little bit, so it's. Got some more air there. Just try the variations and see which works out best for you. I don't know if you did it on this one, but in the future, that might be something to consider while you're capturing it. Sure, absolutely. Okay. Okay, Jim, dumb question of the day. Is there any sharks in, in Lake Michigan or any of the lakes? <laughs> <laughs> No, I hope I'm not laughing at you. I, I'm no, <laughs> it's just the picture reminded me of that movie Jaws for a second. You know, <laughs> the marina. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Yes, yes. Just don't, just don't go into the water. Yeah, I guess it's uh, 
what uh, kind of altered state you're in. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but realistically, no. Okay, Jim Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. Last couple of times I showed um, pictures of Mount Baker um, from a distance. And this is up on a ridge of Mount Baker that I took this one from. Mm. So it's called Ptarmigan Ridge. And and I was hiking and uh and so I had a um took my 200 millimeter. So the 600 is pretty heavy for hiking. So I uh, shot this with a 200 millimeter. Hmm. Wow. Oh, nice colors. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Like your composition. Yeah. Oh yeah. Angles. Yeah. Silhouette is wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you create the blue or was that it? I think it was kind of bluish, but I probably enhanced it a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. hmm. I like the oh. layers of yeah. the mountain ranges going back yeah. and back. Yeah. yeah, the list is nice. Yeah. Very nice, Jim. Thank you. This was also yeah. on the same trail. Um, really? It was a herd of about, I don't know, 18 to 20 goats. And, um, I, you know, when I when I take a picture of the whole herd, they're also small. They look so mm -hmm. small. So I just yeah. uh, also took this one where I kind of zeroed in on these two goats, uh, a smaller goat and a large one. I don't know if it's a mother and a kid or what, but... Uh, you know, and uh, yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Narrow crop might work a little better on this, okay? You know, something like that. Yeah, it kind of, I guess, brings you in a little bit more there. Mm -hmm. I yeah. kind of liked all the yeah. shapes of the rocks and the colors of the. Yeah, yeah. Like you lost some of that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it just depends if you want to do the environment or, or yeah. yeah, a little bit of. I, I like the big one too. Yeah. yeah, James, that looks like a rugged hike. <laughs> but yeah, it is a little bit rugged, uh, but yeah. the trail's pretty good. I'm shooting up above me. Um, the goats were up above me, and I'm shooting up a little bit. So, but the the trail can be a little rough at times too. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. Mm. And that's James, actually... you're a master at birds. You're a master. <laughs> this is a Arizona shot, actually, from uh, up by Marana. I think it's called Hardy Road or something up there. Um, I think Alan has been up there. Anyway, I, I didn't see them. <laughs> yeah. They're, sometimes they're underground, sometimes they're out flying. They'll feed during the day, so they'll be around. They're called burrowing owls, but they occupy burrows that have been built by like golfers or other animals. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if that's a male and a female or what the one's clearly a smaller, yeah, smaller yeah. bird on the right. Mm -hmm. So you knocked out the background and brought, brought in the dark. Background was brown dirt, so I just darkened it. It was yeah. just a a plowed plowed field yeah. of dirt. And yeah. it, you know, it was kind of distracting, I thought. Yeah. Mm. The the lime eyes are incredible. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I spent a whole day looking for them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah I gotta, go. Well, you pay me five hundred dollars, Alan. I'll take you up uh, and show you what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, why not a thousand? Yeah. Well, or at least okay. buy him lunch. Yeah. Buy <laughs> yeah. something. Lunch is doable. Yeah. If he pays extra, can he get him to pose as well as you did? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I don't know who this guy is, but he's in. Wow. <laughs> That's Who's that? <laughs> I think he had a shorter beard back then. Yeah, yeah it's gotten a little longer. <laughs> Love those glasses. Yeah. Wow. Is that just beard kind of to cover this... up the wrinkles on your neck? <laughs> oh, vanity. I just wonder if that's the case. Who doesn't have any wrinkles? What are you talking about? Uh, you don't have to answer that, Dave. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to. Thanks for the that. picture, James. That's awesome. <laughs> You're famous. Look at that. If you guys didn't catch it, I, th I don't think Sandy was recording. 
I've been growing this long beard because next week I'm going to be reenacting the famous Mr. Larson of Laguna Beach. Right, Sandy? Yep. They do. And I'll be standing on the corner of Pacific Coast Highway and Laguna Canyon Road uh, greeting people. Oh, wow. If anyone knows Mr. Larson, he was the famous beach greeter. Yep. Oh, and that's, that's, that's what I'm doing. I have really long hair, also, people. You can't see because I got this. And um, all of that's going to be gone by the end of this summer. I'm cutting everything off. Mm. <laughs> so get your pictures now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get a before. Thanks for yeah. the picture, James. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, the reflections in here are wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess we know this. Ooh. Wow. Mm. That's a ceiling, True. a little section of the ceiling. I went to a, the Chihuly exhibit oh, in yeah. Seattle mm. last week, and one of the rooms, the ceiling is like that, and it's just a little section of it. Those are pretty large pieces of glass. Wow. So, That's Dale Chihuly, if you don't know, is a kind of a famous glass blower from this mm. area. He lives in Tacoma, Washington, and he's there's a documentaries you can watch about his glass blowing, and he's done things and projects in Italy and different places. So he's kind of an interesting guy, he has one eye, wears an eye patch. And uh, yeah. yeah, so this is just some of his stuff. What they had the light, uh, you know, uh, above it coming down through it. And I just thought made kind of an interesting shot. Is this the room with the glass ceiling that looks up at the needle? Yeah, yeah this is under yeah. the space needle. If, uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's a nice combo yeah. to see both of them. Yeah, he What's had a big in Tacoma, and... this one? No, this in Tacoma. Is, yeah, he's got a museum in Tacoma, but this is actually under the Space Needle in Seattle. Oh, yeah. I took a, I took some shots of the Space Needle and his glass balls reflecting in his glass balls. I got some kind of interesting shots of the needle and the in that. Wow. So it's sort of fun. Yeah. And these are kind of the jellyfish forms, right? He did a lot of jellyfish. He did a, he did a lot of kind of seascape kind of things. Yeah. He had, had a boat that was full of these, all these uh, seascape kind of things. And then he, he, they put it on a reflective surface, which is kind of cool, a mirrored reflective surface. So you get it kind of doubles things up. It's really pretty, 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 pretty cool the way yeah. they display. Yeah. And it's beautiful color. Back room. It's really cool. Yeah. I enjoyed that exhibit. It was really yeah. nice. It's kind of a highlight of Seattle trip. That's a nice shot. Thanks. Really Thank nice you. work, James. Thank you. All right. Let's go to Lori. Hey. Oh. Hmm. Some nice textures there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I uh all I did on this was a tiny little bit of sharpening on the can and uh a little bit light. Uh, removal of noise. Other than that, that's it. I, I showed this to some people, and they think, "Oh, you did a really good job adding the orange and stuff to the rest." Uh, uh, uh. This was in this was in Amado. Someplace. Uh, yeah, nice rust patina there. Yeah, nice job. It's nice it's in the Amado territory. Um, um, you know, I think it, I also wander behind buildings a lot, and uh, you'll be amazed uh, the kind of stuff you'll find in the yeah. back of buildings. So yeah. this might have been, you know, there's uh, maybe there's if you go if you're leaving uh, too bad. I don't know if I just went down uh, Amato and I saw this building and I just stopped and nobody was around and I walked mm -hmm. back and there it was um I'm going to find some of the other pictures um that I lost off my computer but some other pictures I took like uh, kind of uh derelict pictures or pictures from the back of buildings that I found um mm -hmm. in either two back or motto I think there's so much stuff to be found mm -hmm. behind buildings it's just weird Sometimes you get lucky if you haven't reformatted your cards. You you might still have it on a card. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sandy, what do you think about a vertical crop on that? Yeah, that could be nice. 
Yeah, and maybe off center a little. I, I yeah. like that it's yeah. not centered. I uh, I needed a certain size for this, so. Mm -hmm. So a little more prominence to your. Uh, yeah. yeah. To be honest, I didn't want it very large. Yeah, the <laughs> can was actually uh, yeah. when I cropped it. The can was actually it's smaller. A negative space it was, here. It was like a small paint can or something. Yeah. Uh, and hmm. I kind of wanted to keep the perspective, but because I had to crop it to a certain size, yeah. cropped it out a little. Mm, sure. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Because I want to keep more background that the asymmetrical idea, and I, I actually it was longer on the right, uh, and which made uh, the can smaller. And but I needed, like I said, a particular size. Mm -hmm. Was yeah. this one going in the two back exhibition? Uh actually, it's gonna. I'm trying gonna try to get it into the members jury to exhibit we'll see no uh -huh. yeah, nice i uh i'm already set to frame it it's gonna be framed in black with kind of a little very thin um a, a thin metal frame black frame uh black mat just three inches and a, it's a very small um bevel it's actually another thing underneath but uh bevel of kind of a brownish rushed is rush rust rust ish uh that doesn't match exactly because i couldn't get it and that's why it's really thin uh yeah. because it does add to it but it's not an exact match and you can't really tell with it that small so i i'm thinking it's going to turn out better than it actually looks without framing and stuff so mm. we'll see there you go. Yep. Get creative with the framing and the matting. You bet. All right. We got smiling Hondas here. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. That's my car. <laughs> and, you know, I was going for symmetry, and actually, the reflections on the sides were yeah. surprisingly <laughs> similar, except yeah. that, you know, the on the left, it was uh the building and on the right it's a tree but other than that you know i was mm -hmm. pleasantly surprised yeah. at um how actually how much similar they were wish that building wasn't as big but <laughs> kind yeah. of because it's dark it kind of uh blends into the uh light section yeah. around the light uh the whatever that light is called down there yeah hmm. Yeah, this would be a, a great reference for someone that airbrushed chrome you know, paintings and stuff. You know, you, you really I might send this to Honda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and say, Here, yeah. You could use this across as a banner or something. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you get that kind of, you know, cool sky oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. going on here in the chrome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. but a, lot of, a lot of chrome detail that airbrush artists use. Uh, looks very simple. Oh. Yeah, nice. And Lori, you were here last week, right? What, yeah, uh, I was. Alan had a lot of really neat car shots too. Yeah, I saw him. this. This yeah. wasn't a recent one, but his car shots were really good. And yeah. I think he did something like a grill or something, if I recall. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't remember exactly, but I was inspired to go find mine. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, sometimes mm -hmm. I, I just get inspired by you guys. I, I take notes and say, okay, I'm going to go try to find something similar. And yeah, that's why and, we're here. So we can kind yeah, of so we can control each I, other. I'm already on page two. Uh, <laughs> well, because the processing and stuff, uh, as Sandy knows, I'm trying to Photoshop a little better. And the beta, I'm glad you're using beta because that's what I'm trying to learn too. I might as well. And um, some of the photos I didn't, I just, randomly picked shots and numbered them from one to 15 or something so these were the first i wanted different things for the first five and um i found and and i'll probably talk about this the next time although i'm gonna might miss but that the oh now i can't remember where you the generative fill yeah oh my god that works so well <laughs> It does. It's really yeah. amazing. Anyway, so I this is um I love the little uh wormy thing, which is probably I don't know if anybody knows what it is. Is it gonna become a um 
butterfly or, or uh, it looks something? like a maybe a native bee. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a bee. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not super sharp. When oh my god, look at how what did I do to that? So the edges are all blurry. Over sharpen it, maybe Sandy. I'm not sure. Um, you know, sometimes if um, yeah, or motion. I probably took this by it hand. Could be a little bit of motion. Um, yeah. Sometimes if you overdo clarity, it will do that too. Yeah. yeah. Well, fortunately, nobody's going to see it through. anywhere else. So uh, I'm guessing maybe it was a little motion. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. guessing that too. That could be a kind of a nice crop. But I really liked, despite the close-up motion, <laughs> um, I liked the little bug, whatever that is in there. Yeah. I think it's kind of classy. And then I like the overall composition with the little uh, bud in it. Although I would have liked, I don't know. I, I wish you could crop like angular <laughs> or something and then fill it because I'm not really excited about the, the background on the top left. But I think what's bothering you is this, this sharp, uh, sharper mm. twig yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. Now you could... Uh, I don't know if General to Phil would get rid of it. You could try that or just yeah. clear the heck out of it. So it's more like yeah. stuff. Yeah. Or it might be able to clone off yeah, the that too. areas around it. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. see if General to Phil will do anything with this. I have not tried it that way. All right. So we're going to grab our lasso here and just kind of go around. Let's just try this one first and then we'll go away. I hate this dock. <laughs> That's yeah. one thing I don't like. I, I wish there was a way you could just tell it to stay and it stays there because it seems like every time I open up a new photo, it changes where mm. it goes <laughs> to the bottom. Okay, we'll try that and see what happens. So, come back here, you. And let's just try it rather than saying remove stick or twig or whatever. Hmm. Wow, yeah. look at that. Yeah, yeah, decent. Yeah, yeah, and you got three choices, so here's. Oh, I never saw the choices there before. Yeah, they either come here or see this three of three, you've got arrows. Oh. Yeah, you can do two or one. That way you can look at it while you're doing it. You just kind of put your cursor over that little triangle carrot and just click it and see which works better. I think I like mm -hmm. three or two. Yeah. Three or two. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then you could probably do the same down here or just blur that stuff. Yeah. You know? So. Uh, it's so exciting to have that tool now. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it uh, saves a lot of time because yeah, back in the day you'd have to clone and blur and all kinds of hand, right. hand work to Amazing. do. Right. And before they allowed you to put another layer above to clone to, you used to have to go back and re, you know uh, use the uh, the restore brush too because you had to do it on the same layer you were cloning on rather than above it. So a lot of nice techniques have come along. So on this photo. <clears throat> Would it have been better had I cropped it more, the the flower more in the center instead of trying to get that bud in there because of the background? I guess that's your call. Maybe. And if you want to make it more prominent, you can certainly darken the background up here. Let's mm -hmm. just, oh, let's, yeah. I guess when I did this, I didn't know how to do that. So if you go in the camera off of on there, you know, and uh, oops, hang on get out of that it's picking that layer so let's let's just um apple e or command e uh we'll make it into one layer so you've got everything so basically i just compressed them into one hmm. and uh let's see here we'll get back into camera on you should have everything now there we go okay so we go up here to our selective filtration let's see if we can find the background Ah, not bad. Let me just change the color so we know we're getting most everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it does. 
You could do it knit like that. I didn't even think about that. That's just basically the color of the mask I picked. But uh, you know, the, the you could probably just start by you know pulling down the whites and and the exposure a little bit and you know oh. more prominent that way. Yeah, and that might make some flower blue. pop. And then if you want to try the blue, you could go to your um, color and change your color temperature here. Kind of cool it off. Ooh, you know, wow. It's something else you can play with. Mm. Or if you want to make it a little pinker, you can move this over to the to the right. Or wow. here you can move it to the left. So you know that's your your call. That's nice. Okay. You can would you mind just Sandy going back a second to the, to the mask? I'm trying to learn that. Yeah, okay. How you so, did the mask? Yeah, let me uh let me just, uh, these three dots here give you the ability to do a lot of things. One of them is, uh, okay. so, okay, we're deleted. And um, we're back here where it opens up, okay? So this little circle with the dots around it, see how it says masking? It's selective masking. So basically, oh, okay. then being global over the whole image, you can click that and then decide what you want to do. You can paint it in with a brush or do gradients or or you can pick a, a color range or a luminance there's there's a lot of different ways to mask you can choose your subject if it's got a sky you can pick sky in this case we picked background and it went okay. pretty well thanks all right and then nice. then you just slide on down and and you've got your usual corrections are you yeah. able to feather that at all or not um they haven't given me the, given the no the, that might be what I did too much of. Yeah. Uh no, it, it, it does figure out based on AI how mm -hmm. sharp or soft to make that edge. Mm -hmm. If you really want to feather it, uh you can use a brush instead. That would be a way to do it. Just yeah. over the edges. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, keep in mind, I took this photo. I wanted to eat into this a little bit. You could hit add and then pick a brush and make sure that auto mask is unchecked so you can paint where you want. Oh, you do have a feathering there. You've got it at 100%. Yeah. yeah. And, and see, you got the inner and outer circle there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's your feather. So if you if you take your, your feather down, you see how you can adjust it. Yeah, nice. Okay. And then at that point, you could take like a pretty, pretty small brush and just kind of, you know, go around like that and kind of eat into the sides of this thing. Mm -hmm. Like make, because it just seemed to. Now my flow's way down. If I take my flow all the way up, you'll, you'll see it a little better, but yeah, you can kind of fuzz into it that way. Yeah. I think that would point. make it look a little more realistic because it was just kind of yeah, too yeah. sharp. Yeah, and then you could kind of come back on this here a little more if you want. Or you could just add another mask and do that, mm -hmm. you know, and, and build it up on top of the one that's already existing. And then you have uh, a separate set of uh, corrections that you can use just on that part, you know. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you've also got the ability uh, down here to... Uh, um take the clarity way down mm -hmm. and also um you know um take texture way down and that would really soften it out but if you didn't yeah. want to go back i just want to soften that edge right just you know create a new mask layer and just do do it on that so you know let's let's just try that over here real quick so basically i'll just do something big so you can see it mm -hmm. and then i'm just going to go down down here to effects and take texture down and clarity down you can see the way that's softening up yeah really mm -hmm. that's and, and nice. you also open up detail and to get, take sharpness down so now you're you're really starting to soften it up and you got this little arrow up here you can kind of um or actually next to it next to the mask there you mm -hmm. can see before and after there and see how far you've come mm-hmm so it looks you know. much more realistic yeah yeah so you can, uh, you can do quite a bit that way that's pretty neat yeah but if you want that nice crisp hard edge you, you really can't beat uh 
their AI um, if mm. it picks the right part of the image that you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's always another story. So there you have it. All right. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Mm. It's just the light in the uh, parking lot of Sarita, uh, Sarita Lake. That just messed around with. I just wanted to mm. see, explore. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you composite this on a on a background, or is that? I'm sorry. What did you composite this? Uh, rusty light pole on, on top of it? Um, yeah, this was a really long time ago. The background, uh, that's one of the backgrounds uh, when I took the PSE class with Linda. Uh, uh -huh. It was a, a whole bunch you could, of backgrounds, and that was yeah, one of them. Okay. So I know I stuck that background in, and yeah. I'm guessing I used a little grungy thing for the mm -hmm. light pole. Yeah, it looks like you did some kind yeah. of mode uh, so yeah going over it. I, it was just it was when i was first learning yeah you know the first years i was with her and sure. she was teaching us all this kind of things so yeah it was you know played around with that mm -hmm. yeah fun like that yeah thanks <laughs> i just i just love this little guy and i thought only one bird at a time <laughs> Uh, and I'm looking now on the bigger screen, and it his bill seems to be a little bit blurry. Yeah. And you know, my eye kind of went right to the bill. Yeah, so. kind of yeah. Motion, yeah. I'd maybe darken it, darken some of the highlights down on it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. and you could select this area and maybe sharpen it up with a little clarity and texture, but. Yeah. It's sort of anyway. I yeah, I like. I like uh, what I forget what I did. Maybe it was just noise um, reduction, yeah. but the puffiness of him and the smoothness of his uh, um, feathers. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. I, yeah. it just, and I see now that if my eyes are right, that his feet aren't super sharp either. Yeah. So there's some work I could have done on this. Well, I think it's the log too, the angle. I just. Mm. And I took this a while ago too, and I uh, uh, was kind of messing around with f stops. It didn't. Now I know more, obviously, but um, yeah, you might need a little more depth of field and um, yeah. See if you can find the sweet spot on that particular lens. You know, play around with it. Uh, again, while you're shooting, shoot a lot. You know, if you if if uh, you're used to doing it like eleven or sixteen, try backing off to eight yeah. or seven point one or six, or you know, yeah. just kind of see where it works for you and, and still carries right. at the field you need. And yeah, uh, I'm learning that with birds because you so often get them in angles. Yeah. That if you you need a, a different de uh, uh, depth yeah. of yeah. field to get the whole thing you sharp. All the way back to yeah. Here. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, especially um, on the bigger, bigger ones. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah so right. again, a long time ago. I'm just going finding old photos. So, mm -hmm. thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Just get out there and play around. Mm -hmm. I had done this quite some time ago and went back and worked on it. Added, I think I have seven or eight layers of textures on it. And then I added. Mm -hmm. That little top piece is part of a train car photo that I had taken. Oh. Mm -hmm. And it kind of mm. gave it like a canopy effect. I thought yeah. that was kind of interesting. And mm. then I faded them and titled this Ghost Dancers. Oh. Mm. Yeah. So they kind of look more ghosty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I don't think I, I did. I don't think I did fade them. I think what I did is I faded the texture. I did. I have some textures underneath and some on top. Oh, okay. And, you and said, I faded some of the top mm -hmm. textures. Yeah. Yeah. To mm -hmm. Look like to make them look more ghosty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and then I played a a, a lot around with um, Hugh. Mm -hmm. Because originally the bandana around his neck was red, like the old red bandanas, and I just. I didn't like that. I like the turquoise better. It looks more appropriate. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we just had some fun with it. Yeah, I like the color in the background too. Nice yeah. talent. Yeah, so basically, if you guys don't follow what Maureen's saying, uh, if you take this background image and copy it and make it a layer over them, you've got the same thing as what would be behind them if you made them transparent. And you leave them at 100%. And then you take the layer in front and add a mask to it. And you can either change the transparency of the whole layer, or you could selectively just go between black and white and different tonalities of gray will give you the amount of density that comes through. Yeah, what yeah. I did is um, I probably had four, four or five um, layers of textures underneath and colors mm -hmm. and maybe two on top. Mm -hmm. And so, and, and I changed the, um, what is it called? Not the mode, but um, I use mostly soft light mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. as the um, uh, yeah, the blend mode. As the blend, blend mode. Thank you. I couldn't think of what it was. Mm -hmm. And then I changed the transparency of that blend mode yep. layer yeah. as well. Yep. Because already in the blend mode, it's more transparent. Yep. And you know, uh, what Sandy said about the transparent layer being in front of the subject gave me a little bit of a Trump loy response. I thought that this man was painted on the wall, uh -huh. uh, graffiti oh, yeah. on the wall, and the woman was passing by. Uh -huh. Very oh. interesting and playful image, you know. Yeah. A no. little Trump loy, <laughs> you know the term Trump loy, it means trick the eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, no, I wasn't that clever. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, you are. This is a real art piece. Yeah, it worked out nice. Really nice. Thank nice you. one, nice one Yeah. Thanks. Okay. This, oh, is, wow. this is my son and my new daughter-in-law at wow. their, their rock and roll wedding. That's rock and roll. Oh. <laughs> they had a rock and my son's a, a singer in several bands and he does oh. rock, rock and roll. And so uh, they did a rock and roll wedding. So this was, wow. I didn't get to take too many pictures because I was in the wedding. So uh -huh. <laughs> I got to take just pictures after. So mm. it was mm. fun. It was really fun. That's a good shot. Yeah. Thanks. Well captured. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. It was fun. I'm wondering maybe just a little local masking here to bring his face just a hair lighter. Oh, I could. I kind of wanted her to be the star. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get him back. <laughs> He's yeah. always the star, so I thought it was uh, okay. time for her to be the star. Yeah. Oh, good. It's working fine. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about lightening it. I, I tried to lighten up behind the glasses because you can't see his, but all the groomsmen had these what do you call those glasses? The Blues Brothers glasses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was a prop that they did. It was really fun. Yeah. Well, yeah, I kind of like the mystique of not being able to see his eyes. Yeah. Hair going. Yeah. That's yeah, nice. See his That's eyes. That's great. Yeah, it's <laughs> really good. Then this, mm -hmm. I've done a crazy thing in my house. Um, I've done a lot of crazy things, but I've had, um, I've had holes and brackets put in my uh skylights to hang plants from mm -hmm. and i have a spider plant hanging and it puts these flowers and babies out so that's a photograph of a flower is at the bottom and the baby's kind of at the top of the it's a new reproduction of the plant hanging in my uh hallway mm -hmm. and i liked that how the natural light was hitting it and if i turn my camera a certain direction, I could get the back of the dark curtains in my bedroom to give that nice dark background. Then I took it into Topaz um, and I used one of the abstract filters mm -hmm. um, just to give it this painterly kind of molten quality. And it kind of added a little bit of a purple color to the flower, which I like. Mm. Mm. They're it, really, it really basically white. 
it really looks like a mm -hmm. an oil pastel or even a black velvet painting i mean it's oh. gorgeous gorgeous i i wish i could remember the name of the filter um but i can't but it's it's in the category of abstracts so. well, there you go mm -hmm. thanks i'm gonna pull up uh browser here real quick because it reminds me of something i did the other day oh <laughs> um, great minds thing alike yeah it could be yeah birds of a feather flock together <laughs> All right. let me see if i can find my stuff where i hardly ever use it yeah here we go what? oh an egg hmm. come on yeah. really <laughs> yeah this little guy was sitting on top of the pile of fries and Pam just said, hey, look at this Iraq. That's, <laughs> Sandy, that's amazing you saw that. <laughs> so there he is, you know. You're, you're right it. there with an Edward West on. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That's so, amazing. Yeah, but I, I saw this. Shape. Shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the little appendage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Similar shape. Okay, so. Sandy, that was... A, you didn't shoot that right in on the shelf. You took oh, that. Oh, we bought it and brought it oh, home. Oh, you're talking about. Took it home, <laughs> set it up. A little still life, and then we circumcised him and cooked him. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, this was just a shot off my back patio. The storm was just magnificent. Holy cow. The colors in the middle, you can't really tell, was it was a rainbow. Yeah, you bet. That's uh -huh. a rainbow. And um, just the colors, and then it started dropping rain, and this this huge cloud formation. Mm. It was mm. just ah. stunning. Yeah, it's quite beautiful. I just love the shapes. It's almost like a mm -hmm. bird with its big wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, there's wings there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Sandy, would is this Green to Valley? Green the... Valley? Yeah, Green Valley. Uh huh. Uh, what was that? Uh, would there be a way to go into that rainbow and then to take out the, some of the pinks to make so the reds and the yellows and the greens to come out? Uh, um, you might be able to just locally paint, you know, with, with a brush. brush. Yeah, and then, and then play with your hues. I took a bunch of photos, so I might be able to go back and get one that is a, when it was a little lighter. Yeah, and pull it through. And pull it yeah. and, and just copy yeah. it over the top. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back because it was so striking mm -hmm. to the eye that the camera didn't catch it. Yeah, mm -hmm. just wow. the, uh, let's just see something. My problem with camera raw, it doesn't give you the whole set of hue saturation mm -hmm. uh, by color uh, that uh, you would get globally. Um, but, you know, let's just look um, and see what we can do here. First, we'll uh, maybe just try globally, and um, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Oops, that's the wrong way. There we go. But uh, yeah, if I was going to do the palette, I use Lightroom so much I always forget where it is. I think, yeah, there it is, color mixer. So I think maybe if you try to play with the Blues and greens a bit. Yeah. But it's raining mm -hmm. outside. Really? Again? Oh, yeah, I hear oh, it. Good. The skylights. <laughs> yeah. What about trying the generative fill and add, adding a rainbow to see if it would pick it up? Yeah. 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 Uh, that's a possibility, but I, I think maybe just enhancing this one might work. So if you just get a brush, again, make sure auto mask is off and just get it through maybe we'll just try something like that i'm gonna get a little bigger than i need to be and then we can trim it as we go so i guess we could do a number of things here first we can play with saturation just a little bit and you could now you can't cheat with curves. You've got red, green, and blue. So if we go to the green curve, you know, and um, just now we're going to have to take that excess area off, you know, and then maybe um, if you try red, let's see if we want to go more 
a little lower red or a little, yeah, maybe a little, a little cyan. There we go. And go over to blue and maybe just add a little warmth to it. All right, now you can see I really overpainted this. So I'm just going to hold my option key down, which makes it a negative. Mm -hmm. And if you get a, a fairly big brush, you can just kind of softly blow into it just with the edge of it. To get mm -hmm. the, ah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I tend to over overexert it. Mm -hmm. and then come back. Yeah. It's easier to pull back than to add on. Yeah. Well, you can do either uh, once it's done. Uh, because it's it's non-destructive and it it's just basically like painting a mask layer. Mm -hmm. If we go in there, just maybe make it a little smaller and tickle in there a little more. But yeah, you could you could do something like that. And mm -hmm. That gives it a little bit more prominence. Just a little more, but mm -hmm. I don't know if it's quite enough. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back and look at the because I shot quite a few photos yeah. in the beginning when it would look more like a rainbow. When See, it started it raining, it just kind of melted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it's subtle, but um, mm -hmm. you might be able to get a little more out of it. Let's cancel that. What is that? Yeah, but sometimes that, that could work for you. Now, this is my mm -hmm. funny one. <laughs> <laughs> So we have to have the story. Okay. About three or four days ago, I noticed I have a pigeon in my yard eating out of my bird feeders. Mm -hmm. And then the next day I saw him, I thought, you know, mm, not a fan of pigeons, sorry. Mm -hmm. So I took the seed, I didn't put seed in the feeders in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I filled the, I have, um, he's standing on a stand where I had, uh, two bird like seed cakes mm -hmm. in, in holders there so I said I'll just put those out for the birds this morning he was on top of both of those eating so I took them off and then about 10 minutes later I looked outside and he's like what the heck what <laughs> happened to the bird feeders <laughs> where are they <laughs> So I took a picture. So hopefully he won't come back now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eventually I can feed my birds again. We'll see. <laughs> so we have pigeons, aka flying rats in Green Valley now. Huh? Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. And he was huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he was huge. Like twice the size of the white wing dove. Well, you can always mm -hmm. make him a weather vane. Yeah. Say, say what? Stuff him and make him into a weather vane. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I have to kill him, and I don't think I could do that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but well, I don't. As, I just don't as want long him. as he's eating all your bird feed, he he may as well pose for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess. <laughs> Make him work for you. <laughs> uh, well, thanks. <laughs> cool. I thought we deserved the laugh. <laughs> Sandy, how's your Cooper? Falcons coming you know, along. They, they, I miss them. They're all gone. The adults are gone. Now, but the, the, uh, the little guys are all gone. They're all gone. Yeah. They flew. Yeah, the I guess. Coop. They, yeah, I got some territory somewhere. Yeah. All right. Oh, look at oh, this. Okay. So, mm. Sukin so uh, finally managed to get on Zoom. And here's. Wow. Oh, finally. Yeah. Yeah. That was a guy at Tombstone. And yeah. he was looking over his shoulder, and I like shooting like this because I always wonder what's going through somebody's mind. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, okay, what is he looking at? What is he thinking? Um, what caught his attention? Mm -hmm. And where I have the issue is the background because it's the lady with the sunglasses. Oh, yeah. You can see. Yeah, and I'd like to get rid of her somehow. Well, well, I, I don't know. I think yeah. she had some dynamic feel. I like emotion. it. It gives a time yeah. warp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I have in Photoshop the Nick collection, mm -hmm. so which is basically filters. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's one that um, I like real well because it kind of brings them out. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that looks nice. I think it's a very interesting picture. Yeah. You know, you could mm -hmm. you could just maybe add a little black this way and, and up here, and it almost looks like a peak rather than and sunglasses, and maybe that could be a hat. Mm -hmm. It could be part mm -hmm. of the you know. mm -hmm. It didn't really read to me as sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah, so. she was I don't know what she was doing, but yeah. She was um actually very pleasant. I got to talking to her for a few minutes, but oh. never thought she's in the photo. Yeah. Oh, bomb jam that one. Yeah. May yeah. I just ask about the Nick filter? Um Yeah, uh, um they're really nice. Yeah, yeah, I have Nick. That's why I'm I'm curious. Are did you upgrade? Is because like I got four point one or something, and there's a new upgrade to six something, and yeah, I, did I don't remember. Upgrade. Did you or not? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry if I interrupted. I did update to whatever you did. Is. Yeah. Do you okay. Which module this was in? Was it in effects or um, you know Nick has? Well, it was the color pro contrast. Yeah. Uh, Okay. And that's what I kind of like that filter. So it kind of, you know, try to make the subject stand out. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of using clarity or, or a neo using um, structure and enhance. Yeah. Nice. But the, um, the shadowing around it, was that in the original or is that the filter that did that? I think it was the filter that did that did that yeah you, you blurred the background and it looks like it just kind yeah. of ate, ate in on both sides you know you can see it up here too yeah it's a nice effect uh, sandy I, yeah dave i'm thinking if what if you pulled the crop in on the right side just a tad closer to his oh, wrist to maybe it. the woman wouldn't even read as a human being yeah that's true well what do you think yeah something like that it's getting kind of tall and narrow. Maybe maybe we don't need uh, need that one beam there. So maybe something like that might work. Yeah, she's gone. Yeah. yeah wow, look at that. Good. Yep, that could work. Good call. Or you could leave the top in and have a long, narrow image. I guess that's up to you. Uh -huh. Or you could just, you know, cut real tight like that or even right through his arm so he's going elsewhere since you don't have a hand anyway yeah, you know, yeah. So, something like that oh yeah mm -hmm. that's better yeah that's better look at that mm -hmm. yep lots of ways to skin a cat okay. <laughs> let's try this next one yeah. got here the cigar store indian mm -hmm. and i yeah. Thought it was kind of weird, but no, I think it's cool. Yeah. What did you do the background? What's the background about? It's in Photoshop. It's like um, it's not Nick. It's one of the filters out of Photoshop, and I can't remember Ooh. which one it was. Maybe twirl oh, there again. Yeah, I like have... in somewhere in the distort. Um, yeah, yeah, one of yeah. those. And okay. he was standing in front of a store where people were sitting in a bar drinking coats. Oh. Mm -hmm. And it didn't okay. quite go with the photo. Right. Yeah. And again, I, I, I think you could cut this one down a bit too. Maybe somewhere in there. You know, you've got this little intersection going on here that, you yeah. know, if you break it in half and then you've got this big space here that isn't quite working. And I have the most issues with backgrounds. Yeah. You know, trying to get rid of stuff I don't want. Yeah. Especially mm -hmm. in populated areas. Yeah, I think that will work better. The colors are nice with the black and white background. Mm. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's what I thought too. Mm -hmm. nice. Wow, these are neat pictures. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. yeah. Love this tombstone yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it was just fun. I'd gone down, I don't know, two or three months ago. I had some family yeah. out and they wanted to go to Tombstone. So, yeah. Yep. Was it vigilante days or doc holidays? No, no um, long story short, my late husband's family, we had like the celebration of life and there were some teenagers there that they were trying to occupy time. And I'm like, okay, let's just go to Tombstone. Everybody's uh -huh. heard about Tombstone. 
Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, of course, I can't go many places without bringing a camera. <laughs> we all have that disease. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <The affliction. laughs> yep. Very nice. I love this guy. And I like the way the back of it reiterated yeah. shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sandy. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Well, will they pause for you if you ask them to? I mean, like, stop yeah. moving. Yeah. They'll post because. I, that's part of the thing of Tombstone is that yeah. if they're dressing the part, I just go up to them and say, can I take your photo? And most, I've never had anybody tell me no. Mm -hmm. Knock on wood. Yeah. Mm, this is. That one's weird. Quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. It's like a posterized effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, um, sometimes I go through craft stores and when we lived in California, I found that like I don't know whether it was Joanne's or Michael's or what, uh -huh. but um, I thought he was cool looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very. Yeah, with the purple was, satin. Yeah, yeah. Like that actually, it was a backdrop I got from Walmart. Some fabric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. You mean you bought the mask and placed it in this uh, satin? Yeah, if you, the Walmart near where I live, and I'm in Green Valley. Yeah, they sell fabric. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, bottom line is, if it's they cut the fabric, they have just enough that nobody can use. They'll mm -hmm. sell it. Oh, and so I thought, well, for six bucks, I'm buying the fabric. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good buy sometimes. There yeah, you. so this is an actual still life setup that you made at home. It's not Photoshop. Yeah. It's not Photoshop. It was an actual. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. the Good I job. set it up at home. Mm -hmm. yeah. The background is not Photoshop. The mask. I did the poster effect on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. he did the poster yeah. effect or the cutout. I can't remember which. Yeah, it looks like an old posterized uh, darkroom effect. Yep. Cool. Very creative. Yeah. Neat. Like it. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, nice. And a long time ago, I know it's a pretty gimmicky, but I bought a couple lens balls because I like the way, I mean, I know it's gimmicky, but I like the way they distort things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you get, or a lot of times you get stuff that's upside down. Yep. And I got bored one day and I thought, well, give it another shot. Mm hmm. Very impressive photographs. You shoot raw, Susan? Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah. I would probably see if you can pop a little more detail in here. Um, let's have a look. Go to camera raw here. Now, do you use Photoshop and Lightroom or just like uh, Photoshop? Just Photoshop. I am not very good with Lightroom, and I need to learn how to do it. Yeah. Well, camera raw is about 90% of Lightroom, except for camera yeah. Yeah. and, uh, you know, keywords. So, yeah, if you master that, you're pretty much there. So let's go here and grab a local mask and just a brush. And this time I'm going to turn on auto mask and just kind of, oh, my flow up. What color am I? Let's, let's make this something we can see there we go okay you know and then maybe i'll turn that off and just kind of take the flow down and kind of feather into here a little bit a lot of times you can do this after you make your corrections and it's easier to interact with but i'm just kind of showing you the mask i'm making at this point so now let's go down here and see what we need to do. Um, maybe just a little exposure. See if we bring some white and up the shadow detail a little bit. Yeah, that might be enough right about there. So now if you want to feather any of that into here, you could you could work it by just you know click, drag, 
a little bit, bring it in there, especially with your flow rate down, um, you know, then it doesn't just bring it all up at once. See, if my flow rate was all the way up and I did that, it would do that kind of thing, which mm -hmm. might work out too, you know, uh, depending on what you want to do. Uh, that's probably a little too much. Yeah, that's an interesting effect on the photo. Yeah. Now, the <laughs> other thing, um, what's it sitting on? It's The background was black. It was sitting on a, a black piece of plexiglass. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. See, we got to and yeah, we do. There's some reflection. Oh, yeah. isn't oh that nice. look at that, oh. huh. Sandy magician. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there you go. But that I like real well. That's kind of cool. Very nice. Yeah, so try that out. Better. Yeah. Wow. This is getting a little bright here. So yeah. hold your option key down. You get a negative. And you can take that flow rate down. Now you can either move the flow rate or you can type in a number like you type in four. Let me get to my flow here. Yeah. Get to four would be 40. Yeah, somebody's not doing it. Hmm. All right. I guess you got to move it. Let's take it down maybe 40%. We can just kind of. Yeah, that looks much more realistic. Paint it back so it's not so garishly overlit. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And you could even do this with a new mask, take some of that down too, if you want. So, yeah, these, these localized masks are great because they just affect the area that you paint on with the mask rather than globally over the whole image. Yeah. So, yeah, play with that and see what you think. Okay, good. Thank you. Sure. Very nice pictures. All right. Thank you. We're... Yeah, we're done with yours. I was kind of worried because everybody was putting out such great pictures. I'm oh. thinking, I don't think mine are as good. Uh-uh, you got uh, nothing to worry about. They're really good. Yeah, you brought some wonderful stuff. Yeah, yeah. Keep it up. Looking forward to seeing this some more. Okay. Oh, nice. So, okay, this is mine. Uh, this is the Columbia River up north of Spokane, uh, right around the Canadian border. And uh, this was uh, taken, I did uh, Lightroom for the normal processing. And it was a nice enough picture, but I thought it needed something a little different. So uh, using the Topaz watercolor filter and then cutting it back to 70% gave it uh, the look I liked the best and made it a little more uh, soft on all the details and anyway it's not being used to that country and rivers this wide it was an impressive sight it is nice you really seriously sandy join tca and submit this oh, into well, the member shirt exhibit you still have time i think the deadline's oh. like well, I don't know. This, this is like super stunning. Mm -hmm. so, Thumbs up on that. Yeah. 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 I, there's a couple of things I noticed after I sent it. The, the lower left, I could have darkened that a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. then there's a brown spot out in the middle of the uh, lower bottom greenery that could have taken out. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. But I'd already sent those, so I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah. Where's the uh, Where's the brown spot you were talking about? Right here. That's uh, right. Oh, uh, down there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This was taken uh, outside a gallery in Crawford Bay, British Columbia. We were up there about two weeks ago, mm. and I hardly did anything with this. I did a little in Photoshop, like the border. But otherwise, the lighting I like just as it was. I think I darkened the bottom a little bit. It might have been a little brighter than I wanted. But I thought those were really neat stone sculptures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You might pull a little more highlight detail. But hold oh, up highlights. okay. Yeah. Okay. If you don't like what it's doing on everything, you know, just paint this area here. Mm -hmm. Just work on it there. Yeah. 
kind of like what we did on the rainbow. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you do highlight globally, you know, you might not like what it's doing in these other areas. Yeah. So that way you can do it selectively. Yeah. You could also do multiple masks, like you could make oh, a yeah. country here. No, that right. actually, yeah, 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 that that would uh, would work out too. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay, this was uh, I think a while back. I had some taken at Carmel, California. Mm -hmm. I had I think a closer view of this uh, yeah, house. I remember the sculpture? Yeah, yeah, the Walker House, the yeah, yeah. Breck Lloyd Wright uh designed home anyway this was taken further back and i really liked the color of those rocks in the foreground the yeah i like the way it anchors it, it too yes that uh it, the house becomes less prominent but the overall uh scene is better i think than mm -hmm. what i've done close up so and this was just done in photoshop but oh a light room i started with and then uh, did a little spot retouching in Photoshop, mm -hmm. but uh, that's uh, otherwise fairly straightforward. Nice. Okay. I can almost smell the ocean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really, it's beautifully done. Mm -hmm. Wendell, from seeing your Carmel pictures, I, I can't wait to go to Carmel. Oh, yeah, you will like that, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. Are you going up up that way after you go to Laguna or before? Next year. Carmel oh, oh, is on oh, the radar. Oh, okay. Next year. Yeah. Right. Well, yes. Take, make sure you got warm clothes. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. it was you mean six... even in summer, you got to have a sweater? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, it was about 60 degrees, uh, below yep. 60s when we were there. Yeah, my junior Arizona, if it's below 70s. <laughs> yeah, we're freezing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, I'm freezing here now. Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, so Wendell, what did we decide on this sculpture here that Sandy pointed out? Is that it's, a mermaid or what? Yeah, well, I'm not sure it's a mermaid, but it is a, a female uh, torso. A female. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, it might be a dancer. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of an abstract dancer or something. Yeah. Are people still living in that house, or is uh, it a I museum? Was, or uh, it 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 is a private home. So uh, whether people live permanently or uh -huh. somebody jets in from New York or so for a few days, <laughs> I don't know. Green <laughs> Valley. <laughs> in from Green Valley. Yeah. Well, yeah. Air Santa Fe. Yeah. 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 So, Wendell, wait, you said be prepared for cold, but there are people swimming, uh, I think. Well, uh, yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> they're natives. <laughs> yeah, they're Alaskans. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so I got to ask my earlier question uh, that I asked James. Are there sharks in the Carmel Bay? I didn't hear about any while we were there. Thank God. But, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Well, while you're in there, you can get over to the Monterey Aquarium, which is yeah, uh -huh. a very nice place. And, well, you can watch the, the sea otters in there swimming okay. around. Yeah, that's well worth going to. They, they Can't have, wait. I, I think they even have a little, for kids, like a stingray petting uh tank and oh and, yeah i think they do yeah yeah it's, it's not really a tank it's kind of like a long uh thin uh body of water where you know it's not too deep so the kids can just touch them that's yeah i've been, been there in a long time but yeah, yeah. canary row area yep yeah mm -hmm. remember back in the 70s it was a lot different over there <laughs> yeah. mostly uh tourist gift shops now but... yeah <laughs> Yeah. And Sandy, it yeah. sounds just from hearing you talk a little bit about your summer love, Cannery Row, Laguna Beach. <laughs> it sounds like you had a little bit of a road trip with Jack Kerouac. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe some of his byproducts, but I, I miss yeah. uh, the byproducts. Yes, yes, I, I miss the Merry Pranksters. Never got, never got yeah. with those. Oh. Guys. But found a few yeah. characters of my own along the way. Yeah. 
If you do get up that way, you might want to consider going up Oregon coast too. It's it's beautiful. Which coast? The Oregon yeah. coast. Oh. oh, of course. Yeah. 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 And Washington too. It just depends yeah. on what you got. <laughs> yeah. And the area south of the Monterey Peninsula, the Point Lobos and Big oh. Sur area. Can't well, wait to go to Point Lobos. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway. Uh this is actually in Pacific Grove here on the north side of the Monterey Peninsula, uh, Lover's Point mm. Beach area, and got fantastic rocks yeah. there. So, yeah, look at all the textures here. Yeah, That's yeah, you just picture the lava, I guess. Yeah, forming those layers and folds. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, you see a lot of that on the coast of the Big Island of Hawaii, but oh yeah, that'd be maybe blacker. Yeah, but uh, yeah. this doesn't look like lava, but it no, doesn't look like it was formed any other way. Yeah, not at first glance. Yeah, nice shot. Very mm -hmm. nice. I like this angular composition on this coming out. Yeah, that's what caught my eye. I did a horizontal uh, landscape version of it too. That, yeah, but I kind of like this one. Yeah, I think this accentuates it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, this one, uh, I did a little in Photoshop, and then, uh, well, most of what I did was exactly what you were talking about with Susan's last image of the flowers. I selected the uh, subject and then dark and the inverse inverted and then darkened the background and then i took a brush and went around the edge softening and lighting up and mm -hmm. playing around a little bit uh to bring out the edges the way i wanted and then also brought the stems this is a trachocerus plant in our front yard mm -hmm. and i brought the little uh pods of the uh, buds coming out there to anchor it to the bottom mm -hmm. and then put it into topaz and used a filter dream cloud ah. which gave it a little bit of a softness yeah and glow and i i think that looked better than the uh original version straight from photoshop yeah it really kind of really almost gave a heavenly effect to your highlights a glow yeah, that mm -hmm. soft it's glow. glowing. Nice. Yeah. So it's basically, what one of those is explaining, and what I did with Susan's image is, is kind of like the old burn and dodge when you used mm -hmm. the dark room within the large, mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes chemicals. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just now it's easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smell yeah. either. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you don't burn up six sheets of print paper either. I right. figure into that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll do far on that one. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Wonderful. Thanks for bringing those in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thanks, everybody. That was a nice collection. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a nice Thank session. You. Yeah, I, I got some Santa Fe stuff. I, I just oh, kind of okay. Let's look. Yeah, I kind of went mostly Canyon Row and then around the uh, plaza. I'll start with that. Got a little. This was late at night. I was trying to see how uh, the R seven did at night, uh, and it it did a good job with uh, selective focus. But I probably should have moved it up to the word Santa Fe. Although I really wanted those fins on that engine to, to pop. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. or, yeah, kind of a nice bike. What's making the star bright pattern up? Uh, that was the headlight from a bike further further back up the street. Mm. Really? Yeah. Oh, this is a night shot? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. I, I really like the reflections that are going on. Yeah. Colors in the sand. Yeah. yeah. Well, and of course the chrome. The chrome yeah. is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. And I don't see you in the chrome reflected. Right. <laughs> <That's a hard laughs> one. This one was a little earlier before it got really dark, but uh, nice. They had these these lights on them that 
Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah, this guy had red lights and this one had blue. Let's go with the paint jobs. Wow. Mm. Yeah, there are a lot cool. of them. Wow, look at those pipes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they got the little whips <laughs> hanging off. The, yeah. Uh, kind of rolling. The, all the accessories. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. They all had triple headlights. Uh, these, oh. these, wow. look, these guys don't. They got little little side ones, but some of them had like three large headlights in the front. Oh. Pretty amazing. That'd be kind of weird behind you at night. Oh, yeah. 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 Right, even watching them come up the street. And oh, then, that's one of those what? Really bizarre clouds. Yeah. Oh, somebody next to me said, oh, the mothership's cloaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Where was this, Sandy? This is in Santa Fe. Uh, there's a church just, uh, oh, this would be east of the plaza. Looking down the street, yeah. it goes across yeah. uh, the yeah. south of the plaza. I think that's yeah. San Francisco Street, if I remember yeah. right. Yeah, in St. Francis cool. Cathedral. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And just had to get oh, in yeah. doors and, yeah. and flowers and textures and yeah. Doors. Yeah. 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 Sun Canyon, nice. Canyon Road. Okay. Nice. That's an amazing place. Eh? It, mm -hmm. is. it is. Wow. Yeah, yeah and everything's just so well decorated. Yeah. Gorgeous. And then you get that weather patina doors and mm -hmm. stuff too, which were a lot of fun. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> hmm. The hard thing there is the lights were really harsh, you know, uh, so mm -hmm. you got to really pay attention to your exposures to not blow out your highlights. Mm -hmm. I got this one. I brought the highlights down quite a bit on the, mm -hmm. on the dappled stuff here. I left mm -hmm. them a little fuller on the door to bring your eye into the doorway. But yeah, I had to pull them down quite a bit. Here's one. Mm -hmm. Oh. In a garden wall. I don't know what kind of trees these are, but I really like the park. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you kept that in the shot. It's very yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. You didn't use any painterly effect or anything? Oh, that's straight. Yeah. Just straight the, up. Just yeah. The, yeah. That's gorgeous. No, oh, thanks. The shadows on the side. Yeah. The, I mean, the shadows and even, even in front, yeah. it's almost kind of a reflection shadows. Mm -hmm. I like that you didn't take the shot straight on and you framed yeah. it with the tree trunks. Yeah. I, yeah. I like I, that. I did shoot one straight on. I like this one much better. But yeah, it's yeah. more intriguing. It's yeah. like more yeah. mysterious. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, when you're there, don't just take one shot. Move around. Go oh, yeah. And get get a bunch of angles because you're probably not going to be there again. Or ten right. the lights going to be different. So right, you know, get it while you're there. And I have this photograph that I took of doors in Tucson. And I've sold quite a few of them, mm -hmm. and the door is lime green, and the trim around it's magenta. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. And I went the other day, and they've now painted it beige and brown. Yep. See? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Never go back. Here today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or the whole building could be gone. Just it's go. not uh -huh. even interesting. Yeah, that anymore. too. Yeah. And I, they might have done it on purpose. They might have been tired of people yep. milling around their house taking photos. Yeah. Yep, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You won't take photos now. It's like, ugh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And this one, this was really hot up here. I, I don't know. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, especially this uh, uh, i really like the detail in here but it was getting mm -hmm. hot too yeah uh, i left it a little hot here because i kind of like having the eye mm -hmm. for it uh, yeah. so again just selectively burning and dodging uh, and i, uh, I just kind of like the way that little piece of wire was going mm -hmm. into uh, <laughs> yeah. i just noticed that yeah so uh. I thought it was a cobweb at first. Yeah, yeah, it's just kind of twisted wire without the barbs. <laughs> you, you got a lot of that wiring and piping in your 
Italy photos of doors and windows, yeah. right? It's going all around. <laughs> yeah, I, I like getting that kind of stuff because it's just yeah, it's neat. not pristine. Yeah, here's a good example. Oh, yeah, oh. look at that. <laughs> wow. Some old tin siding, and then they got the, yeah. this wooden structure over here. Yeah. And the rubber hose in the window. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chipboard board. Intriguing. Uh, yeah. 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 A lot of um, things going on there. Yeah, these were all on Canyon Road. Yeah, this was around wow. one of the galleries. Yeah, Ooh. they had some sculptures back there. We walked back to see, and I said, "Oh, sculptures are nice, but this is wonderful." <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look at that! Oh, nice yeah. from Ooh, inside the cool. gallery, shooting Good out. Good job. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Of course, I, I had to burn this down quite a bit. It was pretty blown up. Yeah. And there was a photo here. I used that uh, Photoshop, uh, that new Photoshop tool to get rid of that. Uh -huh. So you wanted that blank. Yeah, I didn't particularly like the painting that was there. Um, yeah. I could have gotten rid of this too, but I thought I'd just leave it for now. No, very well, effective. I, yeah. Yeah, and then I got a touch yeah. of it as well. Ah. Uh -huh. I just want to take a scraper and get yeah. it. <laughs> uh, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> I like the peeling though. It's just yeah. I just want to yeah. get it off of there and start over. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see it go further. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's not on my door. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Just some little oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Best nice. Part. Yeah. And uh we kind of walking down the, the street oh. back to the car, and I, I saw this against the sky. I was thinking the old spirit in the sky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Spirit in the sky. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. So I just grabbed This that. is a bar, I imagine, huh? Uh, no, I think it was more spiritual stuff. You know, oh, uh, really? Oh. Not, like, not, a not, not a drinking place. Not a drinking place, yeah. Sandy, I can't wait to see your Japan stuff. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, I just grabbed a few. Of We've been yeah. talking about salmon this whole time. Yeah. Do you, do you like sushi? Oh, you bet. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. So I'll grab a couple of the oh. weeds and plants and so on. That were the... mm -hmm. But I really like this one. Oh, yeah. Good. The ants and stuff. You and can see, yeah. Four wow. on them, and yeah, this is just with the kit lens. I was surprised I could get that close. Um, you know, the eighteen to one fifty that came with it. Wow! Mm -hmm. Wow! And then uh, just getting in tight on a couple of sculptures, mm -hmm. just the shapes and very cool. And they had a series of these heads, but I like just oh, wow. pitching the eyebrows and, and wow. the yeah. nose. Yeah. Yep. So that's it. Very oh, nice. Yeah. Really yeah. good. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Make a quit out of that. And... Really cool stuff. Thank you. Everybody had great pictures today. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. Really yeah. wonderful. Wonderful to be back. I enjoyed it. Yeah, welcome to uh, Susan. Hope to see more of you. Thank you. Yeah.